What's up, dreamers? It's your online buddy, Josh, a.k.a. Fexit, and I might as well go ahead and say hello to everybody in Ottawa who I managed to offend and or pissed off. Last time I put the video up about the OC Transpo buses, you know, and the bus driver got quite a bit of heat. But you know what? Tonight, on the bus, I witnessed one of the craziest things, not specifically involving OC Transpo. We happened to pull up to Mackenzie King Bridge, and I witnessed one of the craziest assaults that I've seen in a while here in Ottawa. Um, now, there was rumors of a weapon. I didn't see a weapon. There's lots of stories floating around. I'm not going to play into any of the stories. I'm going to tell you what I saw. I'm on the bus. The back of the bus, on the passenger side, opposite of the driver, so I'm seeing out exactly onto the platform. I got a cl clear shot. First thing I see is a guy walking away and his face is bruised. Next thing I see is someone trying to chase him. People are pointing and yelling. A girl tries to lunge at a guy. She gets punched, she gets tripped, she gets kicked, she gets elbowed, slammed off the back of the bus, and she's on the ground being boot fucked by about four or five other guys. Now it's mass commotion. There's people trying to pull people off of each other. There's fights breaking out, and I don't really know why or who any of these people are. What I'm going to say, though, is that kind of violence in public unnecessary. I also want to say though, the Ottawa police did a very good job. They were there very fast within I think three minutes. They had both sides of the bridge corridor and they were, you know, seven cruisers, multiple officers on scene. OC Transport Security was there very promptly as well as Rito Security. So they had the scene locked down very fast. Now, one of the things that I was concerned about, because there was such a mass group of people involved in this attack, and that so many of them had dispersed quickly that a lot of them are going to get away with what they have done tonight which is fine you know some people should probably get a pass here and there but in this case I'm I'm gonna say there was other people out there I could see them with their cameras their cell phones whatever who had pictures and videos and stuff so I'm gonna ask you guys I open up all responses to all my videos that I upload most of my subscribers and friends would know that so f please feel free to post your videos as a response. If you have pictures, my links are below. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me basically anywhere that you have a social network site. You're going to be able to find me. Links are down below. Um, I'm going to show you guys a quick clip. What you're going to see in the clip is a female being arrested. She's the female in question who was on the ground getting assaulted. Um, why she's being arrested, I don't know. She might have assaulted someone too. She might have provoked the whole thing. I'm not trying to play into the stories again. Like I said, only telling you what I saw. I also witnessed a man being arrested with a bloody nose. So from what I see, from what I see, two people who just got beat up are the ones who got arrested. I didn't see anybody else being arrested because I was on the bus and I had very limited time to film and our bus was getting ready to pull away. So, if you guys have more information on the story, please feel free to fill me in, tell me where I'm wrong, you know, because I'm sure I'm going to get blasted here or there. And uh, here's my clip, and like I said, please video response me and get in touch with me if you guys have more information, and if you have questions that I maybe didn't answer and I might have information that I forgot and I, you guys are interested about, let me know, alright? And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.